native to the Mediterranean region, but has been naturalized in other parts of the world. Oregano has been used for thousands of years as a culinary and medicinal herb, but as a medicinal herb, it hardly gets the attention it deserves given its many uses. So in today's video, we will be looking at some of its medicinal uses, how to use it, where you can buy it, and some precautions. Stay tuned guys. Oregano is a medicinal herb and spice that is scientifically known as Oreganum vulgare. Apart from oregano, it is also commonly referred to as Oreganum or wild marjoram, among other common names. It's a part of the Lamiaceae plant family, which happens to be the same family as the mint family, to which peppermint, basil, rosemary, and thyme also belong. And it's a close relative of marjoram, which is also known as sweet marjoram. Now there are several varieties of oregano, and the most popular variety is Greek oregano, which is found in many homes and is often used for cooking dishes that contain tomato sauce, such as spaghetti, lasagna, and pizza. Oregano is also believed to have several health benefits and is used in traditional medicine to treat many health issues. In ancient Egypt, oregano was used as a poison antidote and Greeks used it internally and externally to treat skin irritations and infections, dropsy, and convulsions. They also used it as a poison antidote too. Traditional Chinese practitioners have also used it for generations to treat a variety of complaints. In Shakespearean times, oregano was used for just about anything. The tea or oil made from the plant have been used to strengthen the stomach and to treat digestive issues like stomach upset, bloating, gas, and a slow or stagnant digestion. A leaf of the plant is taken alongside a meal to aid digestion. For sore throats, a warm infusion of oregano is used as a gargle. Oregano oil and tea is used to treat fevers, coughing, wheezing, chest congestion, sinus problems, and respiratory issues such as the common cold and the flu. It is believed to act as a natural expectorant helping to break up mucus in the lungs and airways. The oil is also used to treat acne, athlete's foot, gum disease, dandruff, canker sores, warts, skin conditions including rosacea and the psoriasis, as well as muscle pain. Drinking oregano water or chewing fresh oregano leaves is said to help relieve menstrual cramps. Oregano is also used to regulate menstrual cycles. It is believed to have a calming effect on the muscles of the uterus. It has been used to boost the immune system and to prevent infections. It is believed to have antimicrobial properties that can help to fight off harmful bacteria and viruses. Oregano has been used topically to help heal wounds, cuts, and bruises. It is believed to have antiseptic and antibacterial properties 
that can help prevent infections and promote healing. It has been used as treatment for nervous conditions, headaches, tuberculosis, and influenza. A poultice made from this herb is used for boils, carbuncles, and felons. And if you don't know, a carbuncle is a red, swollen, and painful cluster of boils that are connected to each other under the skin. And a felon is an infection of the soft tissue of the fingertip, which is usually caused by bacteria. Oregano is also used as a natural painkiller and is used in relieving painful joints, rheumatism, carpal tunnel, sports injuries, and arthritis. Poultices and massages with oregano oil are said to be effective for these conditions. For toothaches, the leaves are either chewed in their natural state or a few drops of oregano oil made from the leaves is placed in the hollow of an aching tooth. For ear problems such as pain and noise in the ears, a few drops of the juice in the ears is said to be useful. Tea is made from oregano and this is done by placing one tablespoon of fresh oregano or one teaspoon of dried oregano in a mug, jar or teapot and then pouring boiling water over the herb and covering it with a lid. It is then steeped for 5 to 15 minutes or more depending on the strength desired. Then it is strained before drinking. For topical use, a poultice is made and applied to the affected area. Pure Oregano essential oil is also used topically by adding a few drops to a steam diffuser or bowl of hot water and then applying it to the skin after diluting it with a carrier oil like coconut oil. Oregano oil tincture is also taken, which is an extract an essential oil blend formulated to take orally. You can get oregano to buy on Amazon in the form of its powdered extract, dried leaves, tea bags, and oil in the form of liquid drops and oil capsules. For those who are interested, I have included a link to the latter in the description below. If you decide to purchase these products, ensure that they are from the oregano species, Oreganum vulgari, and ensure to follow the instructions on the packaging. Oregano or oregano oil are safe for most people when it is used in amounts that is typically found in food. But people with allergies to plants in the mint family may experience an allergic reaction when they consume it. Oregano is possibly safe medicinally when it is taken by mouth or applied to the skin, but some people experience stomach discomfort. Skin irritation may occur if oregano oil is used on the skin in concentrations that are greater than 1%. It isn't known if using oregano or oregano oil medicinally is safe for pregnant or breastfeeding women. So it is recommended for such persons to avoid its use. That's it for now guys. Please remember to do your own research and to speak to your healthcare provider before using oregano or oregano oil.